What's up guys? Why am I shouting? Well, that's because I'm competing with the loudest animal in the world. This animal is a mere pistol shrimp. That's basically what it's called, a pistol shrimp, because it's really, really small. It's a two centimeter long prawn, and this prawn is actually capable of snapping its claws really, 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 really fast in a way that it actually produces a sound loud enough that it's louder than a bullet. Now that's, that's seriously exciting. And not only that, but when this prawn actually snaps its claw, it makes a sound that actually creates so much heat that it's 4,400 degrees Celsius. Oh my God. That's nearly as hot as the sun. I think the sun is about 5,000 degrees Celsius, but I'm not really sure about that. You can check that on your own. Or I'll just paste it right here, right now. Boy, if you don't get- now, This shrimp can snap its claws so rapidly that it creates a sound that's literally able to produce a sonic blast underwater. Like, that's- that's intense. That's crazy. Coming from an animal that's literally this small. What? Like, it's- you can- this is actual size. It's literally this small. It snaps its claws really, really hard, creating that heat, and then it kills its prey alive. Like, that's- if, it, if that isn't the fastest way to kill animals, I, I don't know what is. Which leads to the point of this video, we're going to be checking out about 10, I'm saying about because I'm not really sure exactly how many we're going to be covering, 10 facts of animals which you probably didn't know before, like the one I just previously mentioned. So in case you're new here, I'm KDJ and today we're going to be playing... Uh, and today we're going to be reacting to some really really cool facts about animals. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's go! intro song what? Bam, 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 bam. Really nigga? Okay, so for number two, did you know that otters, the very, very small uh, rat-like creatures, but they're much bigger than rats, and they usually live around forests and stuff on the water, do you know that they actually hold their hands when they sleep? I don't know how they're actually able to do that throughout the night. I think it's just part of the way they're built. They actually have to hold their hands when they sleep so that they don't drift away from each other. Which is kind of cute if I do say so myself. So that's fact two. Now if you're wondering why I keep drinking from this Mountain Dew, not sponsored by the way because I can actually get sponsored. Now that's because I'm trying to get high, which is really really stupid because currently Mountain Dew doesn't actually have any form of alcohol, unlike dolphins actually, which do get high, but not through drinking Mountain Dew or drinking actual alcoholic products. No, that is through pufferfish. Dolphins actually tend to get high when they consume pufferfish. Now that's because pufferfish tend to kind of cause the dolphins to excrete some kind of a, some endorphins in their brains which actually make them feel this nauseating feeling which is pretty cool basically how it feels like to get high i don't really know much about that because i just turned 18 and i don't really want to experiment too much in my life right now but that's not really a big problem for me because i relatively have a pretty long lifespan about 90 years and above you know give or take but that's with a very very healthy lifestyle and basically staying away from accidents and danger but unlike humans some animals do have the very very short end of the stick and i mean like really 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 short do you know that the mayfly actually only lives for about 24 hours now that's freaking crazy imagine having your entire life start and end from morning to night and that's crazy like it grows gets old lays eggs and then immediately dies like it's that's just if that isn't the fastest lifespan ever i don't know what is because that that's crazy i mean 24 hours of life that's way too short i mean koalas on our fact number five are able to actually sleep really 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 long periods of time at a stretch they can sleep 22 hours a day imagine sleeping through the entire lifespan of someone of a creature that's a lot to process but i mean it's, it's just a fly so it doesn't really matter that much Now for our next fact, did you know that a flea is capable of jumping 200 times its body length? And that's literally the equivalent of a human being jumping over the Empire State Building. Not the entire State Building, mind you, the Empire State Building. Now that's this huge, uh, very, very huge tower in America. I don't really know much about it, but I know it's a really, really, really tall building. And imagine a human being literally standing at one end and leaping over the entire building. That's pretty much how high fleas can jump. And that is due to the fact that they have really, really strong contracting muscles in their legs, which enable them to 
go for really really high leaps over very short periods of time and their body shape too is very 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 nice and aerodynamic which is pretty cool for them okay so have you ever tried killing a cockroach before i mean if i had a dime for every single cockroach i've slaughtered and trampled upon in my household for disturbing the peace i really really hate cockroaches i don't really know what's up with them like generally i don't even know the point like i don't know the purpose of cockroaches what do they actually do like what what's the point of them god seriously why do you do this <laughs> why what's the point of this okay so anyway you know that because of the way a cockroach is built it actually is able to function without parts of its body that we would see as completely vital for example if you cut off a cockroach's head it can actually still survive for days without dying now that's that's literally a huge feat on its own which is the reason why scientists up to this day do lots of experiments on cockroaches to actually see if it's possible to transfuse a cockroach's dna into a human being's dna to see if it's possible for a human being to live without very 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 necessary parts of his body for say your human head which is actually going to be really really hard to do given the fact that the brain pretty much controls everything that happens in the body so you know we have a very very long way to go but speaking of long the earth is literally about 14,000 miles in the entire diameter of the entire globe so a human being going around would take a lot of energy but for this animal called a gray-headed albatross i'm not really sure if i'm pronouncing that right albatross 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 it is able to fly around the world for 46 days literally like it goes around the world in 46 days now this bird will obviously make pit stops it's not like it's just going to keep flying continuously it's not it's literally it's not able an ostrich's legs are so powerful that it's actually able to kill a lion <laughs> Its legs are so muscular that it can actually kick and kill a lion, as strong as it is. Just literally imagine that. And not only that, but an ostrich, specifically a male ostrich, is actually able to roar as loud as a lion. That's insane. That's really, really, really crazy. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Take care of your vital organs, because we only have one brain to think and one heart for the feels. So you have to take care of those really, really well. Unlike this animal, however, which has up to three hearts and nine brains and also it has blue blood now this animal i'm talking about of course is called a giant pacific octopus now this giant pacific octopi are kind of animals which don't necessarily function from a central brain and a central heart pretty much all its limbs basically need an actual uh, brain source for control of that specific limb so basically it uses a brain per limb that's the reason why it has that many brains and it has three hearts just basically to be able to hold the sustenance of all the different body parts generally just imagine if your body had nine different limbs you definitely need more brain power to be able to control all of them properly or you just need one very very big brain which is basically what the octopus could have done but i guess nature has its reasons interesting that's basically all for today in case you haven't done it already go down like and subscribe to this channel and i'm going to be posting lots of videos like this because i really really like them it's really fun thinking on your feet because you can imagine how many times i had to pause in this video and just go like this literally thinking about what i'm going to say next because all of these videos are unscripted i mean it's technically not really unscripted because I am planning out what I'm saying next. It's not like I'm just spinning out whatever comes to my mind, like gibberish. That would just be awkward. Like, who actually does that? I mean... <laughs> so as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you click those videos right there if you want to see my gaming videos and reaction videos that I've done in the past. They're really, really fun and I do lots of cool edits and stuff. So uh, make sure you support the channel and as always, Stay positive guys, I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.